Please don't leave. Oh my God! <laughs> Welcome back to another Love is Blind recap slash reaction. This is going to be about season six, episode 10. Excellent episode. I mean, the fight between Jimmy and Chelsea. What the F was that? Jimmy introduces Chelsea to his family. So we meet his mom, his dad, and his sister. I think it was his sister. It went so well. I feel like they all like her. She did really well. She fits right in. And Jimmy seemed really happy. And his mom was like, oh my God, this is a woman that stole my son's heart. We communicate so well. We've had a couple fights, but it hasn't been any deal breakers. I don't know. What? Did, did she just say we communicate so well? Bites. They've just been, you know, conversations and I'm so grateful. Conversations? <laughs> We've handled it amazing. There hasn't been a lot that we haven't been on the same page about. You know that that's very intentional. Your whole relationship, y'all, are never on the same page. I really do love her. And I'll be thrilled to call her mine. And she's been nothing but what I've been looking for this entire time. Damn. Wouldn't it be crazy if of all the couples, Jimmy and Chelsea were the ones to make it? That would be insane. I can see the love in him that I've never seen with anybody else. She stole my son's heart. I can already see that. Guess what time it is. It's time for Jimmy and Chelsea to fight again. Yeah. Meeting my family, like I, that's a huge deal for me. And um, mm -hmm. I feel great. Yeah? Yeah. I think I love you even more. <laughs> that was important for us to meet them together and wait why do i suddenly think they're really cute oh my god what the hell couldn't have asked for um, a better family to to back up who i want to spend my life with mm -hmm. so i was so cranky with you this morning i was like man i'm so mad at him but i love him with all my heart like i love you babe you last be night you cranky. can't be cranky at me I can't be cranky with you. I should have known that she had been drinking, but for some reason, I didn't catch on until much later. So apparently, the other night, after the cameras were done filming, Jimmy hopped into the shower because he wanted to go to his friend's birthday party. Or, I don't know, he stopped by the bar to have a drink, say happy birthday, and he left. The camera crew leaves, and you shower and get ready to go? I asked you to go out, and I know that... You did not ask me. It was one of my friend's birthdays. You didn't ask me to go with you. I knew damn well you did not want to go with me, one. And I did ask you. You didn't. Though. I did ask you. I was like, you can go with me. Okay, I'm so confused. Did he ask or did he not? Because she's saying he didn't ask, but he's saying he did ask. Which one is it? We're already bundled up. I was gone for an hour. Wait, so have... did he ask or did he just assume? I don't, Ugh, this is so confusing. I'm wondering. You, you it was were more gone of a... a very short time, so I will give you that. But... I, it was more of driving. Okay. Girls in the pod said, hey, your man's is out. Where are you? Oh, that was more embarrassing. <laughs> that was embarrassing. I didn't see anybody. I didn't talk to anybody last I know, but they saw you, so. Who's they? Mackenzie. I don't even know what Mackenzie looks like. She knows what you look like, so. I wasn't hanging out with other girls with mine. I think all the girls are like, why is he out and you're not with him? Why are you hammering me on that? Is anybody else confused? Did he see Mackenzie or not? <laughs> She's like, you saw Mackenzie. And he's like, no, I didn't. I don't even know what she looks like. Babe, the girls from the pods told me. So what? Did he see the girls from the pods and Mackenzie or not? I was so confused. <laughs> What's going on? Go out and party. It's Maybe like, I drove there. I had one drink and I came home. But is that something I want to deal with? I do like to go out and like have drinks socially. Is that what you want to deal with? What do you mean is that what you want to deal with? You, you're you not going to let your man go out and have a drink? But wine, is that a, wine, cocktail is, bars, or like maybe going to a brewery on a Saturday and getting home at a decent time. What I, want. I don't want that. I don't I want that. that no, it's not. You said you did not do anything in the pods. You, you sat there and lied to me. I didn't lie I hear, to you. I hear from someone who I said knows I love you. going to wine bars. I like going okay, to cocktail like, bars, and I like getting home at a decent then time. Then I hear your man is out. Like, where are you? How embarrassing. What, like it's, why is that embarrassing? Unless he did something that was bad, but it doesn't sound like it. Like I remember one time I was embarrassed when my friend asked me, hey, I saw your boyfriend at the club. Where were you? And I was embarrassed because he had lied to me the night before and said he was going to bed. And then I found out the next day that he had gone to the club. So I was embarrassed because I was like, huh? Are you sure you saw my boyfriend? I don't think so. I know he was sleeping and I looked like a dumbass because everybody was like, oh, he went without telling her. Okay. So yeah, I felt dumb, but I mean, he clearly told her he was going to the bar before he left and then he came back an hour and a half. Why the? <laughs> Breathe. 
I do like to go out every once in a while. And I don't, I, I don't But I just like want you to understand so where I'm at. Me? I want you to understand where I'm at because I haven't went out in three months. So Neither have me. I. Oh, okay, I, I go out. You. I, I turn down what I want. my friends. I say, hey, you know what? I'm really in the process of this shit. And you don't give two shits. What? Babe. You, you don't think that I care about you just because I want to go out and like uh, have one drink just to make an appearance for a friend and come right back? That's not the kind of person I want to be with. It's not. Okay, then leave. Go. Bye. Bye. Bye, Chelsea. Bye. The life oh, I to you. I'm feeling his frustration right here. By the way, I know I'm pausing a lot. I've read some comments. Why do you keep pausing every five seconds? All right, if you don't like the constant pausing, then go on Netflix and watch the damn episode yourself, okay? And you can just not pause and watch the whole thing through. Thank you. Not the life I'm getting though. I love you and I, I want to be around you, but like you're not giving me Ugh, much. I hate how she does that. She always fucking <laughs> complains about something and she goes, I love you, I love you so much. I have been away from you for like a total of like three and a half hours. <laughs> you're acting like I'm like extensively partying since you've met me. Girls from the pods are there and then I find out you're with your girls. That's not cool with me. It's not cool with me. If it's offending you huh? that I have girlfriends and that's another. It sounds like Jimmy went to the bar to celebrate his friend's birthday. And then the girls from the pods happened to be there and his girlfriend's happened to be there because his best friends are two women. So what the f*** is wrong with that? Does she expect him to like find out first who's gonna be there and then check in with her to make sure it's okay? That's ridiculous. Who were you with last night? Oh my God, <laughs> I'm not gonna sit here and tell you about this. Okay, every day, who do you hang out with? Every single day, where do you go when, you, when you're not here? I have been with you every- Where do you go that's, when you work? That's where we're not on the same page. Where do you I, go when you work? Here. Do you? I went to my apartment one day. Mm -hmm. I work Who do you text home. all day? If you want to sign up with me, you have to sign up for all my friends too. It's a respecting, babe. It's a respect. I'll take a step back from hanging out with girlfriends if that's what you want. You, you haven't asked me. Tell me right now. Do you want me to take a step back? Of course I do. And okay. I told you I'm that. not willing to take a step back. <laughs> what the heck? Wait, why did he just say he was willing to take a step back and then say, well, I'm not willing to take a step back? Oh, my God. maybe he's just fed up with her bullshit. Wait, so I'm confused. Is he like hanging out with a particular girl behind Chelsea's back? Is this what it is? Cause then that's a little different. No, <laughs> Chelsea, go away. Oh my God. You're suffocating the freaking man. You're not taking, willing to take a step back. This is the first you mentioned it, my point. Yes, I have. I have said that it makes me uncomfortable. You communicated how it makes you feel, but you haven't asked me to Take a step back from hanging out with friends and spend. And you said you're years. unwilling. At this point, I'm, I'm unwilling. I don't have a, I mean, it is a physical what relationship it is. with them. I want you to trust me. Yeah, you do though. You told me you fucked her. And the fact that you're saying you're unwilling. No, I don't give a fuck. I know you fucked her. What? You told me that. Because I want you to trust me. And I do, but I'm uncomfortable with it. I told you off camera that I, know, but then... I don't want to talk about that. Oh. I'm sorry. But there's like a level of respect. I introduced you to her. I like put her in a situation I, to be I, on And camera. I love her. Oh, but this is a respect shit. issue. It was a one, you're it was, not single. It was a one time thing. But okay. you're not single anymore. It was a one time thing. Calling and texting and being with each other when I'm gone. I'm not out doing like hanging so out with women in that last night? Who were you with last night? For the second, I, I was with eight fraternity brothers and two of their girlfriends. Okay. Do you think I'm lying to you about that? Yeah, I do. Because I heard from other people that you were not with just fraternity brothers. Wow. There was a lot that just happened. Hold on. Oh my God. I need to get my thoughts together. Okay. So we just found out that one of his best girlfriends and he did have a sexual relationship like one time in the past. And he told Chelsea this in confidence. And he told her, he didn't have to tell her, but he told her because he wanted to be very honest and he wanted her to trust him. And for her to say that out loud in front of the cameras, knowing that Jimmy told her in confidence to not say anything is so messed up. Like that is such a betrayal of trust. I would be furious. Like I would wanna scream at her. He is so patient. Oh my goodness. And another thing that confuses me is she keeps saying, you saw her, you saw them, you do this, you do that. And he's not denying any of it. So, man, I don't know. It's tough because if he's so close with his girlfriends and it makes your current partner uncomfortable, then what do you do? You have to like set some boundaries with your friends, right? Ooh, that's tricky. I don't know. Ooh, Mackenzie. Who are you with? I know it was Jacob Lee, West. I was not with Jazz. I've never saw Jazz. I heard it was Jazz. Oh my goodness. How embarrassing. I was not with Jazz. Okay. <laughs> All right. I was not with Jazz. I swear to God, I was not with Jazz. All right. Well, I was in bed and you- Okay, wait, we got to watch this again. Hold on. I know it was Jacob Jazz. Jacob Lee, West. 
I was not with Jazz. I've never saw Jazz. I heard it was Jazz. Oh my goodness. How embarrassing. I was not with Jazz. Okay, he is telling the truth because he's laughing. He's like, this is so dumb. Like, I was not with Jess. That's the way I'm receiving it. And why does she keep saying how embarrassing? She keeps saying that. This is the third time she said, oh my God, how embarrassing. I swear to God, I was not with Jess. Right. Well, I was in bed and you were out you know what I think? I think you're fishing. I think you're fishing. You think I'm fishing? Yeah. You're insecure about the Jess thing. I don't even have a clue what Jess looks like other than the picture that Jeremy showed me. Really? You didn't tell me that Jess was a Kardashian? I said, Jeremy said she looks like a Kardashian mm. in the gym. We have already talked about this last night and you never mentioned the Jess thing Awkward. until tonight. I felt like shit last night and I didn't say anything. It, was like, it made me really sad. You're bringing up Jess and McKenzie. I didn't see Mackenzie. I damn sure didn't see Jess. To me, it sounds like you're fishing. You don't even have an explanation for it. Oh my God. Oh my God. She is fishing. She's throwing anything and everything out there to see if Jimmy bites. Okay, that shit's crazy. If your explanation is Mackenzie told you that, then I can hear you out. But you're, did, did, did Mackenzie tell you that? Where'd that come from? What'd you do last night when you left? Oh my God, why can't she answer the damn question? The only thing I can think of is nobody told her. <laughs> That's why she can't say yes or no. What did you say to me? I'm going out, I'm going out. That's not the kind of person I want to be with. <laughs> you don't want to be with a person who goes out and then tells you that they're going out. <laughs> Oh my God, then leave. Goodbye. <laughs> what are you doing here, Chelsea? Goodbye. You don't want to be with me? That's not the kind of person I want to be with. The only night that I went out that you also didn't go be with your friends was last night. I was going an hour and a half total. I'm actually, I think this conversation is unreasonable. I do too. Mm -hmm. It makes me really, really, really question what the fuck I've done. You fucking ruined his life. That's what you've done. I don't want to be with someone who's who wants to go out a lot like you do. Okay, well, <laughs> and if that's here, norm, you're sitting here drunk telling me you don't want to be with me anymore. So I don't like if you've had too much to drink and this is how you feel. Oh my God, she's drunk. I mean, I should have known. She does this like <laughs> that thing when she's drunk. But oh my God, she's drunk having this conversation. Wow, she's gonna wake up feeling like the dumbest asshole <laughs> ever. I love you. I'm in this for you. Met my family. You don't want to be with me anymore? Do you not think that I care about you? You don't. You just think I'm like full of shit every time I tell you how I feel? I do, I do. Do you I... think I'm full of shit with everything I've told you? I don't care to be with you either. <gasps> yes. I can't yes. Everything. Break up. I we have two weeks to figure out if we're getting married and you're worried about partying. I'm not into it. Okay. And if that's what you're into. I don't care to have this conversation. So that shows a lot about your character. I've done nothing but prove to you where I'm at with you. If you don't think Literally. I love you, I don't want to be here. You don't think I love you? Yes, Jimmy. I don't know. It, it's not gonna work. Just okay. Oh, yes! Please don't leave. Oh my god! <laughs> oh, Chelsea! Oh my god, she's fing exhausting! Holy f balls! Oh my god! Oh my god, I think Jimmy aged 20 years just right now. He looks 57 now. Oh my god. Stop. Oh my god. Yes. Yes. Holy shit. This is so cringy. I feel bad that she's gonna have to watch this. <laughs> Someone go and save him. All right, I, you know what? Let me pull up my Google Maps. I'll go. What's his address? All right, I'll go pick him up. What are you about to? Well, I went home. It's kind of hung out. Yeah. Obviously, coming into this experiment, I was really optimistic. And a couple of days ago, I introduced you to my parents, and I couldn't have been more sure that you were going to be my wife, and I was ready for that moment. After that, your actions the other night, I felt like I don't trust your judgment. When I had time to really think about what I wanted and what I wanted out of this experiment was show you I love you and take you home and, and be proud to call you my wife. And I just feel like I, I was a little betrayed. I mean, this morning, my perspective on getting married, I you know, decided I didn't want to. So you're saying no? You told me you didn't think I love you. That statement alone, that hurts my feelings that you, do, you don't think I love you. You're saying that I'm not giving you any love and affection. And I feel like I'm giving you as much as I possibly can give. For real. This is just hard to hear. I apologize. And the things that I said was my delivery good no so sorry about that and i can't apologize anymore i forgive you for that i don't hear me out mm. oh, he's so i, nice. I know that i was horrible but like for you to just throw in the towel if having a bad night is oh no 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 she did not just accuse him of throwing in the towel after a bad night 
just because we had a hiccup? Are you freaking kidding me? Things aren't gonna be easy. And we had, a, we did, we had a horrible, horrible, horrible argument. But when things get tough, like I need to know that you're not just gonna walk away from me. Whoa, 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 whoa. I do not like how she's blaming him for walking away. He was so patient. He answered all her... Okay, be right back. My dog wants something. Okay, what? What do you want? All right, what was I saying? Oh, I was saying how he answered every single one of her ridiculous questions over and over. Is my dog trying to come inside again? Okay, no, she went downstairs. He answered every single one of her questions over and over again. And when she completely crossed the line by sharing on camera something that he told her in confidence, you know, he specifically told her off camera and told her, I do not want this brought up on camera. And she did just that. Like that was so messed up. And that's why he left. Last week I went home. Oh my God. During the middle of an argument. And I told myself I wasn't gonna do that again. Like, <gasps> I was probably Wait, how did she get him to think that he did something wrong? Whoa. I myself for not leaving when you were treating me that, that way. It wasn't I, just me. I know it goes both ways, but like. Oh my God, shut the fuck up, Chelsea. He should not be focusing on the fact that he finally left when his boundaries were crossed. She was literally suffocating him. She wouldn't get out of his face. What else can I do to Leave. make you feel like well, this could be a yes? I need you never to <sighs> cross the line on the things you crossed the line on the other night. Like Same for you. I know. We should okay. never. Oh my. What line did he fucking cross? Why did she have to say same for you? Mm. We should never go at each other's characters. No, and I never, ever, ever, ever want to argue like that ever again. Are all, all the arguments happen because of you? You're the problem. Where's your head at right now? I signed up for the experiment, you know, to get married, to find a wife. No. Find love my life. I, I'm still you... here for that reason. Do I want to give it a shot? Yeah, I do. No, no. Do I... Why? <laughs> No. I love you and Don't. I, love you too. I really want to try with you. No. Me too. That's the reason I'm here. Me Why? too. Or you can't come dressing like that when I'm mad at you. You look good. I really like those pants. Um, of course, I want to continue to try with you. Remember how two weeks ago we thought Jimmy was the worst and now he's kind of like the best? Every conflict Chelsea and I have had, we've been able to get through it. I love that about her. And they also get over their arguments because of him, not because of her. She acquiesces. So you're going to make me cookies or what? Mm -hmm. Tired. Bitch, you should be making him cookies. What the fuck? Go fucking go in the kitchen and bake some damn cookies for him. You're driving me nuts, boy. Yes. Calm down. Yes. Calm down. <sighs> I think I wrote in the YouTube community tab how I felt bad for Chelsea, but oh, I'm eating my words right now. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Oh my God. Jimmy is a really nice guy. He's so patient. I absolutely believe that he does love Chelsea and wants to make things work. I don't know how he has so much patience. She gives him a lot of shit for no reason. I know we roasted the hell out of Jimmy, especially on reveal day when he saw Chelsea and it was clear that he was like really thrown off and maybe even disappointed because he was thinking of Megan Fox. And that's because Chelsea threw that idea out there. But I don't think it was that he was unattracted to her or anything like that. He was just in shock because he was only picturing Megan Fox because Chelsea said, everybody tells me that I look like Megan Fox. I don't think so, but that's what everybody tells me. And I think it just took him a while to get that image out of his head and to look at Chelsea for who she is and not Megan Fox, because I'm pretty sure 24 seven, he imagined Megan Fox's face whenever he thought of Chelsea. So I think he just needed some time to adjust and now he's adjusted and he loves Chelsea for her. I truly believe that. And Chelsea, because she's very insecure and she has problems from the past, 
she's projecting that onto Jimmy and it's not fair. And she just keeps starting these stupid fights for no freaking reason. She should stop drinking, honestly. I just want to quickly mention that I listened to a podcast interview that Jessica did recently and she did say that Jimmy presented himself as someone who doesn't really go out, but in reality, he's out a lot. That's what Jessica said. But for this specific case where he went out for his friend's birthday for an hour and a half, I thought that was ridiculous for her to start a fight with him. Oh my God, I'm sorry about my phone. I'm going to silence it right now. I think they're going to go all the way for sure. I think they will get married and if they do, please get couples therapy. They need it because of Chelsea. <laughs> well, that's it for the recap for Chelsea and Jimmy in episode 10 of Love is Blind. I'm going to do the remaining couples and episode 11 in the next video. So stay tuned for that. Let me know all your thoughts in the comments. What did you think about Chelsea and Jimmy? Yeah, thank you guys so much. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.